Game started. All right, chess user from India. Yeah, got it right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I think I haven't played uh, E4, E5 in a while. Let's try that. Yeah, I've done a French, a Sicilian, and a Scandinavian recently, so those are my <clears throat> main replies. Okay, just a normal move, attacking the e-pawn, defending. Okay, bishop to uh, c4. This is the Italian game. <coughs> now he can continue with the uh, Evans gambit, or he can play uh, c3 here, try and build up the center. And a normal move after that is knight of 6, attacking the undefended e-pawn. And then here, yes, you can play like this. This is a, a line. It's a pawn sack. Uh, the way it's usually played, throwing this check. check. And it, I guess it depends on how he responds to the check. But if he plays that, which is the main move, and this here is a pawn sack. And white is sacked a pawn. <clears throat> and now the, the knight is hanging. He's just unpinned. And it's better to take with the bishop than with the knight. There's some tactics with the queen coming to uh, b3 here. Pretty dangerous. And uh, there's also the pin along the e-file, so uh, white gets a uh, good play here for his pawn. But black should be able to hold. Uh, I'm already thinking about playing the move um, uh, d5, which uh, will help secure the knight here. You don't want to waste time moving that knight again if you can help it. So does d5 actually work here? Pawn takes, I mean, bishop takes, pawn takes is okay. If he plays pawn to c5, however, I guess I can defend the knight with the rook after pawn to c5. It's good to <clears throat> get the d-pawn up, grab a little more space in the center, and open up a line for the light-squared bishop. So after c4, I can play rook e1 defending the knight. Or maybe even bishop to, um, yeah, maybe bishop to f5 also defends the knight. Maybe it's better. Although he can go after it with his uh, knight. <coughs> no, this square is guarded right now. The queen is guarding h4, okay. Um, so that's if. If he were to play c4, which he hasn't played. Um, since he didn't play c4, the spot on c3 is hanging. Question is, can I take it? I have a lack in development, but it is uh, maybe a useful pawn to have. So knight takes, he's going to have to move the queen, say queen to uh, c2. Oh, it'll hit the knight and it'll threaten them. Um, hit the knight and threaten <coughs> h7 at the same time. So I guess uh, it's better not to take that pawn. Knight takes c3, queen c2, then the knight retreats somewhere, then bishop there check is pretty ornery, pretty mean. Okay, so let's um, develop the bishop. Uh, you know, the problem is he's going to play uh, a move like um, knight to uh, knight e5 there. And uh, if I take it, then the pawn here will be attacking my knight, which is pinned. So let's <coughs> kick his bishop first. Yeah, this is the problem with being down in development. White uh, can play actively and make threats and uh, take advantage of my lack of development. But if I can survive these various uh, tricks and turns, so now I can unpin the knight by playing queen to um, d6, defending the knight by the side. Don't really want to allow him to um, take there. And now. Um, time to develop the bishop, I guess. <coughs> I 
Well, maybe I should play rookie one first. So, rookie eight. Rookie eight, knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes. Yeah, so I am threatening after rookie eight to actually just take that knight. And uh, he can take my knight, of course. Or he could uh, defend. <clears throat> he could defend the knight oh, with a move like uh, bishop to g3. Defends the knight and also uh, sets up a discovered attack on my queen. So that's probably a good move. I can't play knight h5 because queen takes. And if I play knight here, bishop takes, pawn takes, and then this knight gets a discovered attack. <clears throat> yeah. So he did play that. Okay. So knight to e4 threatens his bishop. And uh, so there's no great discovery with the knight. Is there? I guess he could win a pawn by taking here. Okay, so <clears throat> let's let's move the queen right away. Question is where? Maybe over here. It's shoring up the uh, king side a bit. <laughs> kind of a funny position for the queen, but. Uh, now the queen is no longer needed to uh, support the uh, knight, which is not pinned. And now I can take this knight. Uh, or I can play bishop to... I should play bishop to g5 first. g4. Bishop g4, queen f4. Now I can just take it with his knight. Uh, so knight takes, pawn takes. Where does my knight go? Mm, okay, we're going to develop the bishop <coughs> and uh, see what he does. Maybe I can maneuver my knight somewhere interesting. Knight here to uh, uh, still not possible. Okay, I'm going to have to take the knight now because uh, <laughs> my knight is undefended here and I can't play uh, I can't play b6 like I want to to defend against the rook. Okay, so knight takes, pawn takes. And then I could throw in bishop g5, perhaps. But, uh, hmm, doesn't seem to help. I still need to get rid of that, um, <clears throat> still need to get rid of that knight. That was a, a very uh, mean piece there. Do that. Now the knight, the knight goes to um, e4. Bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, and he wins a pawn there, but uh, he gives me time to save the b-pawn, so it's a trade, basically. I'm going to lose a pawn either way, and uh, after I lose the pawn, he'll have a couple of uh, isolated pawns on the queen side. But he'll have this strong e-pawn, too. But, it, but I will have gotten rid of his um, light-squared bishop if it goes that way. If he doesn't take the knight, then I will take his dark squared bishop, and I'll get get a bishop one way or another. And then, uh, then I have time to play uh, b6 because he's got to take back here or move the queen. That 
The A pawn is hanging, but that I don't think is important right now. It's more important for me in terms of what pawns I want to keep. It's more important to keep these uh, queen pawns nicely connected. Queen side pawns. So uh, he can get an attack on h6 maybe with um, something. He needs to move something to the g file to pin the g pawn and then, then go after the h pawn. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. But um, that allows me to skewer his rooks. Bishop f5. So <clears throat> bishop f5, bishop takes h6, bishop takes rook. Is there a deadly move with his queen? I don't see it. Well, okay, let's uh, continue this. Game he just got disconnected. Started. Yeah. Well, hopefully he will uh, continue to play. Yeah, I may edit out that long pause in the in the game. But there was, uh, if I do edit it out later, what happened was there was a disconnection, and then my opponent uh, reconnected and and resumed the game. Okay, so I won the exchange, <clears throat> and now I was thinking of the move rookie six as a way to defend h six which is a bit weak. <clears throat> you know, he can get a pin on the G file and then just take that pawn off with his dark squared bishop. And the nice thing is that uh, the rook is a decent blockader here because he's got a dark squared bishop and I'm blockading on a light square. So now I need to get my queen in the game, I think. If my king side is secure enough and then get my other rook in the game too. Let's see if he gets worried and defends his weak pawns on the queen side. Yeah. Can't I just take that? <laughs> Isn't that a mistake? Oh, oh no, he can take here. Sorry, I'm, I'm the one who's missing things. Still, it's probably good for me to trade off the material. Check. That's uh, interesting. Let me take a look at that for a second. Was this... Uh, okay, yeah, so the rook was not hanging when I played this move, but he played here. Check. Okay. And uh, let's see if he's got a, a follow-up. I have a check here now, as well as uh, I can go after the pawn. Probably uh, he can go after the uh, f-pawn. That's probably the most dangerous thing. because it's supporting my uh, my rook. So maybe queen f8 would have been an idea. But he, he does guard against the check here. So let me grab a pawn. When in doubt, grab a pawn. <clears throat> and now I can I have a winning plan of just uh, promoting my a pawn. So I'm going to play my queen back to... Um, I'm going to play my queen back to c5 so that uh, it's out of the path of the a pawn. It's looking at the bishop, so that kind of restricts what his queen can do. And it's uh, controlling some of these squares on the diagonal here, uh, which I have to be careful about. Check there, it could be dangerous. And then I'm just going to march the a pawn up. And what can he play here? Hmm. <clears throat> okay, he is attacking the f pawn. Yeah, yeah, that is um, a weakness here. But what I can do is I can actually take the e pawn because it opens up a line for my queen to defend the f pawn, right? And I'm still guarding these diagonal squares for his queen, so can't 
can't deliver checks. Do that, yeah. <clears throat> I can drop all the way back to there. I can also go up to here. So either E1 check, King F1. I like this better. Check. It's usually better to play actively. So I don't have a great follow-up is the only problem. That's why I was kind of hesitating there. But I can bring my queen here. Um, it defends <clears throat> the rook. Stays in touch with the f-pawn. It's on a light square, so the bishop can't really attack it. And uh, controls these diagonal squares. Now the queen can check there. Doesn't control all the diagonal squares. But there's less... Um, when all my pieces are protected, there's less opportunity for uh, white to pick up some material here by checking and <clears throat> picking up a loose piece. So after the check, I can go king to g8. Check. And then um, the queen can be supported on the back rank by the rook. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I think g8 is better than h8 because uh, on h8 there's this pin. <laughs> on the g-pawn and the uh, h-pawn is loose. Okay. So can I can I put this away somehow? There's a check here and um, not so easy to see. How about if I, I kick the bishop first? It's nice that the queen has no check at this moment. The bishop has no good squares on this diagonal. So asked to retreat. And now I can deliver a check. He's also got a check here. Yeah, and after a check there, he's going to... Um... <clears throat> uh, but this um, does... The check here, Check. if he blocks with the bishop, for example, um, I'm attacking also the uh, h-pawn. Okay, my time is low, so I probably need to move a little bit quicker. So check here, and uh, isn't this getting check. to be near the end? Because uh, he has to block with the bishop, and I can just take it, and then it's mate, right? White. Resigns. Yeah, I, I think it was. Okay, I will take a look at this at the postmortem as usual. See you guys later. Bye.